Hello. Long time no see. Yes. How are you? I am well, thanks for asking. I wanted to bend your ear this morning about this thing we read about a lot in the economics blogosphere. The death spiral. Yes. I do hear many references to the death spiral. What is your take on this matter? I am going to give you one excellent example of the death spiral. It goes something like this. The Ben Bernanke is obsessed with halting deflation, right? Right. All of the Fed's asset purchases and all of their efforts at quantitative easing are geared toward arresting deflation. Indeed. So, the Ben Bernanke creates liquidity, trillions upon trillions of dollars in liquidity, because he and other neoclassical economists believe that these accommodating monetary policies will, among other things, save a struggling middle class from sinking further into poverty. The Ben Bernanke believes that an effective increase in the money supply will eventually find its way down to the middle-level income earner. He does seem to believe this to be the case. Yes. But what we know to be true is this. The overwhelming majority of these monies are captured by the too big to fail banks, and by the super rich, and by the top 1% of wealthy Americans. And only a tiny bit of this added liquidity finds its way into the accounts and pocketbooks of the average American wage earner. An insignificantly tiny amount. Go on. Why insignificant? Because, one of the other impacts of loose monetary policies is massive cost inflation particularly in such things as energy and food costs. And what little systemic liquidity does make its way down to the middle class is nowhere near sufficient enough so as to offset the impact of the growing cost inflation. Cost inflation, despite the claims to the contrary by the Federal Reserve, is far outpacing the impacts of monetary operations. And why? because these monies are captured by the too big to fail institutions and they are employed by these very same institutions in order to speculate in the commodities and bond markets and in order to line their own pockets and the speculation pushes the prices of food and energy among other things totally out of sight right the trillions in liquidity which are captured by the top one percent as soon as the fed makes them available do not trickle down to the middle class in fact the opposite is true. The top 1% uses these monies to push the prices of commodities higher and higher, pricing the middle class out of existence. Exactly. And while the middle class exists on what amounts to a fixed income, cost inflation makes the real, not nominal, value of their wages go down. And so, amazingly, what does the Federal Reserve do in response to this dilemma? What do they do? In response to the deteriorating economic condition of the American middle class, the Ben Bernanke prints more money. But as we now know from watching this experiment for going on two years now, all that happens is that there is more liquidity to be captured and exploited by the already super wealthy, so that they can become even wealthier. While at the same time cost inflation soars, and the middle class gets squeezed ever more tightly. This is a death spiral. I think I get it. The death spiral to which you are referring is the one created by loose monetary policies. Policies that only serve to make the rich, richer. But policies that also precipitate massive cost inflation, and thus lead to an ever-tightening fiscal squeeze on the middle class, because the middle class sees their access to disposable income shrinking, and shrinking fast. Right you are. And the death spiral gets tighter and tighter, because in response to the squeeze on the middle class, the Ben Bernanke adds more digits to the reserve accounts at the Fed. And these additional trillions are simply captured by the too big to fail institutions, and by the mega rich and the price of food and energy skyrockets further, and the middle class gets increasingly crushed. And the Ben Bernanke sees the middle class getting destroyed. And what does he do? He prints more money. You got it. He creates more liquidity, assuming that eventually these monies will inflate the system enough so that the shrinking middle class will be saved. But what he and other neoclassical economists fail to admit is that they have no control over these monies once they have been credited to the various reserve accounts at the Fed. And soon enough, we will see out and out class warfare erupt in the United States, just as it has erupted in banana republics throughout history. 
because eventually there will be a few dozen American trillionaires and a few hundred million impoverished American people. The Death Spiral. The Death Spiral.